Hello my friends of Hattori Labs, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about the a, a basic example of model construction with of a mod flow 6 construction with flowpy. Okay? So, well, we wanted to take advantage of the flowpy library. So, what is flowpy? Flowpy is the library developed by the USGS for uh, create, create, run and post process of Modflow files or Modflow models ok, so it's better if you see that on GitHub uh, there is um, fl Flowpy works on Modflow 6 and works on Modflow 2005 as well and also it's a um, is capable of running uh, transform um, transport modeling with mod with MT3D or MT3MS or like a particle tracking with modpad. Okay. So what else? Um, there are I strongly recommend there are a lot of examples as notebooks here. Okay, but in this case, what we wanted is to we wanted to develop one basic example yeah and the basic example is is based on is based of one of these examples okay and this is for you to create your first mod flow 6 model with flowpy okay so what we have done yeah we have done here a model that has two layers yeah that has 20 meters times 20 no 20 rows 20 columns it the dimension of each row column is 4 meters there are two wells one well two wells and there are two boundary conditions here okay the modeling is running for on two stress periods the first stress period is steady and the second is transient okay so what else I can tell you about this um uh, mm, besides this is that this is the representation as a PTK. Uh, this is not uh, not really a part of the because I have used some code that I had but the main purpose of this model is that bring you a better understanding of how a mod flow uh, how you can can you create your first modflow 6 model because it is not so easy yeah to create this but uh, we strongly believe that you have to create something small that runs and then you can go further and create you can increase step by step the complexity of the models you want to model okay so if you haven't done anything fancy with modflow 6 maybe this is a good opportunity to do it okay great so let's work on this ok I have already a Jupyter notebook that you will have as well as on the description of this mo of this video ok first where well, we import flowpy and OS then we, cre we create the simulation name because in modflow 6 there is a simulation name and the modflow name we create a simulation name and then we we specify where exactly is the executable yeah because let me show you here you will receive on this a folder like this and here this basic uh, example and here is the executable that is the mf6 okay okay and here this is the executable because this is actually on x here is where the simulation will take place actually I will delete this because it, the code actually create this ok great then we the specify well we have to specify the simulation and then we specify the model yeah and this ca in this case we have a simulation that runs one model ok because uh, if you have gone through modflow 6 actually you can specify many models but this is not the case for us. Okay, so you have the model. 
then you specify some some um, some parameters for the for the the convergence for the solver yeah uh, actually this is inspired on this okay and I have taken the same okay so I for me it's, it's okay this one and I think that this runs mod plot in duality okay so we register the simul the model name into the simulation okay we create two stress period the first one that is steady but actually here you only you only set up the stress periods and the time steps and the second is transient yeah but this is this is done in another part of the model but here the you specify that you are dealing with uh, one day in seconds divided every hour <coughs> yeah and the spatial discretization is in meters and is 20 rows 20 columns two layers four meters each one and then this is one specified the model top and the bottom of each layer okay what else are uh, this um and the, i bring this from the i bring this as well from the from the initial link uh because there are i mean like your your mod your mod flow model can have a constant or like can have a like a gridded elevation like in case you are dealing with topography or something like that and there are some specific uh, um, there are some specific data objects for this okay I strongly recommend that you go and then you sort on the mod flow, document, mod flow documentation git github flow by m Okay, MF six dot data. Mm -hmm. Well, there is a okay. Okay, this one. Okay, this is I strongly recommend that you go to the modflow 6 package and then you read all of them because these are all the datas that are related to modflow okay okay and, and in this case is we are dealing with data flow pi mf6 mf data hmm. mod flow utils model cases flow pi mm -hmm. okay yeah you have to sort out where is mf data here okay so here you can work and then you can you can define it here uh, for example for storage and then for hydraulic conductivity and then you set up the storage and the hydraulic conductivity there are these are the initial conditions yeah because you have to define the initial condition whether or whether the initial the initial heads are zero okay so in this case is 99 the storage parameters yep mm -hmm. yeah and then the this is a specification where the constant head package is Mm -hmm. this is rare local R this is for time step zero and it it assumes that if time step zero is um, if you don't specify any after time step zero it will duplicate this one okay and this is the condition for the este, the well package okay and these are the output control options 
yeah so what you want to store and then with this we create a simulation and then we run the simulation okay so after the representation we import the data yeah and we can with this code as well we can represent the heads in layer one or like in layer two. Oh, sorry I have to run all the kernel okay look mm -hmm. and it's creative okay and these are the heads for layer one and these are the these are the contours for layer one as well this is for layer zero and this is for layer zero okay great so this is um this is how you run and then you can see how is the depression the cone of depression for layer one and for layer two you can do many other things like and this is the topic for coming tutorials is to do cross sections interactive cross sections and to work more with the with the flow by utilities why because um I don't know if you are learning how to use mod mod um, mod flow. Maybe this will be a quite complex. Maybe not. May if you deal with if you if you can deal with this, it's is great. But however, uh, I strongly recommend that um, that in the way that mod flow can be automatized with code and so on, you will have more control of the input data you will have more um, more options to create your models you can create models with better, better quality in less amount of time and what else that you can create uh, you can do optimizations and so on yeah and um, Flopay has a lot of new tools yeah and how can you possible uh, how can you manage all the tools is that you practice and practice a lot and this is the only way that you can you can be creative with your and, and very productive with Flowpy. once again my name is Ol Montoya we are from Hattari Labs Hattari, what is Hattari Labs? Hattari Labs is a blog dedicated to knowledge sharing and open source software yeah we have a Facebook account and a Twitter account and as well if you drop here your email we will send you uh, email with tutorials okay so thank you for following us please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you like this video give it a like and share it through your social networks okay once again my name is Montoya and have a great day bye bye bye